All right, Rob, last night after the Iowa-LSU game, of course, won by Iowa, Angel Reese uh, was on, you know, at the press conference post game, And um, she really got emotional uh, when talking about kind of the a lot of the uh, harassment, if you will, and criticism that she gets uh, on social media and even in traditional media. Here she is. I just try to stand strong. Like, I've been through so much. I've seen so much. I've been attacked so many times. Death threats. I've been sexualized. I've been threatened. I've been so many things, and I've stood strong every single time. And I just try to stand strong for my teammates because I don't want them to see me down and, like, not be there for them. So I just want them to always just know, like, I'm still a human, like, all this has happened since I won the national championship. And I said the other day, I haven't had peace since then. And it sucks, And but I still wouldn't change. I wouldn't change anything. And I would still sit here and say, like, I'm unapologetically me. I'm going to always leave that mark and be who I am and stand on that. And hopefully the little girls that look up to me and hopefully I give them some type of inspiration that, you know, hopefully it's not this hard and all the things that come at you. But keep being who you are. Keep waking up every day. Keep mo- being motivated. Staying who you are. Staying ten toes. Don't back down. And just be confident. Uh, Rob, first of all, it, it, it's really sad. It's almost heartbreaking to me to hear a young lady or any person in college that young talk about winning the national championship. I haven't had any peace since then. That should be like one of the greatest moments of her life. And to hear her tell it, it is really sparked just a lot of negativity for her. And, um, you know, you obviously heard her crying and she's talked about death threats and things like that. And so uh, it, it's just unfortunate that she has to go through that. Um, and you and I talked about it yesterday, how, um, you know, along with their growing popularity, women's basketball, some extra criticism and scrutiny and stuff's going to come. But usually it's a little different for college kids. And... Um, so it's unfortunate. We've seen, Rob, you know, we, we, I think we even talked about it on the show once or twice. You remember in the 80s, the things Patrick Ewing went through? That, when Chris, he was, I, was, I, was, I was just right? going to say, thank you, you brought that up, that this is People not throwing new. People bananas they, on the they, court. they held up a sign. I'll never forget it. Patrick Ewing can't read this sign. Yep. This was held up at a college basketball game. Okay, where people, Chris... Educated or or en route to being educated. You know what I'm saying? Yet stupid. Yet stupid. (laughs) Educated yet stupid. Unbelievable. But but you're right. And called all kinds of names and 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 you're this and you're uh, you know, I don't even want to say the stuff that they said, but you know what I'm getting at. And and the other thing too, and I'm not trying to be desensitized from this and whatever. Insensitive, yeah. Insensitive, thank you. But Chris. She, she's a trash talker and has her kind of thing going on, too. You can't just have it one way. You know what I mean? Like, like she doesn't like she partakes in that. Right. Well, yeah. And I, I think and I'm but, not but I'm not she, yeah. I'm not saying no, death I, threats and all that. Right. Well, see, that's the thing. And look, I'm she's not. not the only athlete that's gotten stuff like that. Right. But, but I'm I, just saying. But yeah, I'm just saying there's the death threats, the no, sexualization, because I think I've that. heard stuff that they've put her face on pornographic photos, things like, you know, like that's so all, all of that stuff is that's way, sick. way, way but you across get what the I'm line. saying though. Yeah. She talks. I mean, she talked, but even with, with that, you have seen her treated unfairly. I think it, Rob has been some like last year when she, and this is kind of to me where it began was last year when she got criticized for pointing at her finger in Caitlin Clark's face saying, you know, we're going to win the ring. She got criticized for that. Never mind that Caitlin Clark, who we all know is white, was doing the same type of trash talking and gestures and all of that, and nobody said a word. Of course, she's America's darling. And so that, Rob, I think that was a combination. I definitely think that was racism. 
But I also think it was some classism because if she were a black girl, suburban black girl acted differently, right? You know what I mean? I don't think she necessarily would have caught that. So I think that's where the classism comes in and the way she acts and, and things like that. But I'm just saying, if you're going to jump on her for talking trash, then jump on Caitlin Clark, too. Yeah, or I, vice I, versa. I, if, I'm, don't I'm jump with that, on either but, one. But, I'm, but I'm, at, I'm with that. But you can't act like you don't do any of that stuff. That's, that's all I'm saying. And but what does she do other than trash talk? Well, I'm just saying, but that's a part of it. I'm just that asking. Is, like, yeah, I'm, I'm saying I, like like that in spot, that fuels people as well because they see it and their team comes off, and you know this, between a coach and there's just they're the they're and they're, they're the bad guys if you want to put it you know what I mean if I just do it in a sports it. term I didn't say it I didn't say it <laughs> but that's why I said they're the bad guys you know what I mean in sports they are and a lot of it Chris the coach is white and people don't yeah, like but her Malky doesn't, no but I mean I, but they don't like her I know but I I, I don't know I I think it I agree people don't a lot of people don't like Kim Mulkey. They but don't Kim like her. Been around for a long time, and but now she's winning. I, I think now she, she's but winning. But she was though. winning at Baylor. She was winning at Baylor, and it was the same. You know, she's doing the same stuff. I do think, like when you look at that article that was written in the L.A. Times about them, I think it was based on Malky, like you said, with the, you know, just people not liking her and Angel Reese. I think it was based on those two. I don't think it was based on any of the other players. I mean, F- Flay Jack, Flo Joe, what's Fl- Flasia? How you say it? I don't know how you say her name. The little guard who's a rapper. So maybe people, oh, she raps and all that. Flu J. Flo- Flu- how you say it, Rob? Flu J. Flu J. Flu J. Flu J. Yeah. I think I had that once and I got penicillin. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if that'll make the uh, make the Mary show. let it go. Mary let it go. And, and I'm a, just so this don't come off as sexist. There's a brother in the draft named Kool Aid. Oh, it really? Right? So talk all you want about Fluje. Fluje is a lot better than Kool Aid. Yeah, is his name? Really He's gonna be Kool-Aid? drafted in the first round. Kool Aid McKinstry. But that that's name? his real name, Chris. His real first name. Rob G. Isn't that his real name? That's his real name, I believe. How's it spelled, though? C O L. The same K- way it all Kool Aid is spelled. K O no. O L dash A I D. Wow. It, it, right, and he can ball. I mean, he gonna get. He's going to be a first round pick. Kool Aid McKinstry played at uh, Alabama. Rob, defensive back. Yes, Kool Aid. I, I guess oh, I'm God. looking at his. Registry on you know sports reference. I don't know if Aid is his middle name. No, cool is his, his name is Gaquincy. Gaquincy. Well, he, Gaquincy. Even on here, they just got Kool Aid. Kool Aid oh, is his That's what nickname. I thought. It's I knew that couldn't. I knew that couldn't. Every be his but name. everywhere he's at, they call him. He's. I mean, like they. It's like no, Magic I know, Chris, Johnson, but, it, but, like it ain't, Magic. but that's not Magic's first name. It's Irving. I know, but I'm saying, but everybody calls okay, him Magic. according to Wikipedia. McKinstry was nicknamed Kool-Aid by his grandmother as a baby because his knew smile reminded her of the Kool-Aid man. Of the Kool-Aid guy. <laughs> <laughs> and he has since signed an NIL deal with Kool-Aid oh, at Alabama. Wow. Rob G, did you drink but a lot of Kool-Aid growing Kool-Aid. up? I did. But did only you, one flavor. Chris? Oh my gosh. Yeah. What flavor? Kool-Aid was Kool-Aid was all red. we drank. I, I didn't I didn't you know they say like, oh the it's grape. No, it's purple. Like right. my flavor red. was red. We right. we had uh any, any. I mean, my favorites were purple, red, uh, anything. And, really, and you know, and you know what it was. We drank it was it all just the time. that we it was just cheap, put a ton though, of sugar. It was oh, just yeah. cheap. I mean, like they weren't buying uh, Pepsi or Coke. Nah, nah, if you got man. a Coke, it was like unbelievable, right? That you got to taste a Coke, and and you could make it. My mother send us into the kitchen, make some Kool Aid, and we right. make it with tons of sugar and all. You know what I mean? It was. Re- oh yeah, we and we we make the. The ice pops, right? The frozen ice, you know, pops. We used to make the ice cubes, with Kool-Aid. too. Right, with Kool-Aid <laughs> poured in, and then you have them like, like uh, yeah, ice. Man. Guys, back in high school, there were players who would put Kool-Aid sugar on their mouthpieces so that when they drank water, it tasted like Kool-Aid. Oh, wow. Yeah, I heard, I heard that before. Have you yeah. guys, like, ever uh, tried Kool-Aid pickles? Yeah, I've heard of that, yeah. but no. 
I've heard of it, but I, I don't know. If yeah, I don't think I would. But you didn't grow up drinking Kool Aid. You're too young. Mary, I did. Right? I had Kool Aid, and I also had uh, the Huggies, like the little hug juices. And oh, then the also the Kool Aid. Yeah, there's like hug, like in Michigan, they had the little like they're like barrels, like the Huggies. The huggies. Yeah, and then there was also Kool Aid. Oh yeah, I know. I've yeah. seen those. I've seen those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 